Hey there, this is Nathan with nonstopawesomeness.me and in this video I want to talk about how I got this amazing cross-country train trip for free and how you can do this too. So uh, I didn't know this was possible. I didn't know it was possible to get a train trip across country with all meals included for free uh, and lo and behold it is. And Amtrak is actually a really great system. Um, once again, they have a loyalty program uh, called Amtrak Guest Rewards. If you're not part of that and you want to do some train travel, sign up today. It's free. Uh, so basically, if you want to do a cross-country train trip, uh, you know, I went from Boston to Portland, essentially, with a stop, a month stop in Chicago. But if you want to go Boston to San Francisco or Boston to uh, uh, L.A. or whatever, whatever you're doing, um, that is uh, three zones you're crossing. And to do a sleeper car, it's going to be about 35,000 points uh, to get that all done. Now, because I did a stopover, and it's basically two separate journeys, uh, it was 20,000 for each leg, so 40,000 points. So between 35, 40,000 points is what you're, what the target number you're looking at. So how do you get those points? Um, yes, you can buy fares on Amtrak, but uh, if you can get the Amtrak uh, MasterCard, uh, the normal bonus is 12,000 points. Every now and then they run a special uh, 16,000 points, sometimes up to 32,000 points. But standard uh, amount of points is 12,000, and it's just uh, with a first purchase. You know, first time you spent, you know, use the card, you know, you'll get those 12,000 points. So then, how do you make up the difference? Well, the nice thing about Amtrak's program is they are partnered with Continental Airlines. Uh, and it remains to be seen uh, how the Continental United merger may affect all this, but for right now, it is a one-to-one -one transfer ratio, meaning if you have 5,000 points in Continental, and I'm moving because of the train, if you have 5,000 in Continental, uh, you can transfer that, and you'll have 5,000 points in Amtrak, and vice versa. You know, they, they exchange at a one-to-one -one ratio, which is really great. So, um, a great way to build up miles of Continental, if you can get the Continental One Pass, uh, which I believe is also a MasterCard, uh, if you can get, get that card, the normal bonus is 25,000 points. Sometimes that bonus goes up as high as 50,000, so you just need to check. But the standard is 25,000. Uh, so if you just get both those cards, you can get a proof of both, you suddenly have 37,000 points. And if you're doing a straight uh, one-shot trip across country, you got a sleeper car, you got all meals included, and I swear it is, doesn't cost you a penny. You use the points, boom, you're in. And the great thing about Amtrak's program, you can cancel your trip up until the departure time, and you still you can get all your points back. So let's say your train leaves on Monday at 2 o'clock. You could cancel your trip Monday at 1 o'clock, and you'll still get all your points back, no penalty fee, and it's as if you never had the trip planned. Um, you know, and, and if you're going for the 40,000 number, uh, there are definitely some different ways to make up those last 3,000 points. But that's a quick way, a uh, little bit into how I got this trip for free. And it's a great system. Uh, I know, I mean, this this would have cost, you know, $1,500, $2,000, and that's money I don't have to spend on train travel. But uh, I'm living basically in first class. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really great system. So uh, totally available for you. Uh, the credit cards is just one route. You can certainly do others, but uh, that's it. Wanted to share that how I uh, how I'm traveling and seeing the country for free. Hope you're doing well, and until next time.